today we're gonna be checking out Haminations. The future is so scary. Drop a like on the video and subscribe for more. And with all of that being said, let's jump right into it. Here we go. Haminations. Animations. Welcome to our robot show. This cutting edge robot can do amazing things. Like what? Observe. Full backflip, okay. Okay. Will they start a robot uprising? <laughs> No, we have several contingencies in place. Okay. Do they like hugs? What? No. What? Do they? Excuse me. Do they like hugs? Probably not. I. What? They do. Wow. Interesting. Doesn't have hands. <laughs> Literally, the the actual apocalypse. Prepare to die, human. Wait. I know him. Not him. Bro, come on. Pet Hi, human. Hi, I'm Bryson, and today I'm going to be talking about what I want the future to be like, okay. and also more realistic futuristic ideas that scare me. Okay, Disclaimer: fair enough. I am not a scientist. I okay. am not smart. I barely graduated high school, and like every other YouTuber, I dropped out of college. Okay. So take Makes this with sense. a grain of salt. <laughs> Ew. That's a lot Let's of salt. start with the holy grail of science fiction ideas. Time travel. Okay. Imagine the discoveries. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Dang, we were way off. Yeah. But also, imagine if instead of taking an object through time, you take time through an object. Okay. Picture this. Oh no, I burnt my pizza. Back but if time. I put it in my time-powered uncooker, we can take the pizza back in time to when it wasn't burnt. I would love to have an uncooker. Okay. But then I realized an uncooker is also just an immortality machine. Just hop in and young. regain your youth. Yeah. Just don't stay in too long, though. Hey, get out! Baby. <laughs> Aww, you baby. Did do baby. Definitely wouldn't go back as a baby. I'd go back till I was like 10 years old. It's pretty cool. Because you have all the same knowledge. Lifetimes. Your puny mind <laughs> is nothing compared to my vast intellect. Do Very you want aggressive. some mushy carrots? Yep. Yes, please. <laughs> Time travel would also allow Literally. for a whole new level of fun pranks. For example, if someone disagrees with me, I just go back in time to when they were a baby and press the soft spot in their head as hard as I can. Yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender is a terrible show. Bad world building, stupid magic system, Not a good idea. and dumb characters. Also, Uncle Iroh is the worst character. <laughs> cool opinion. Excuse me for a moment. Yep. Back in time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Classic prank. Literally. Right? This next billion dollar idea that I definitely made up is a portal gun. Imagine the possibilities. Yeah, you can shoot and jump somewhere else. That's pretty interesting. You could do the infinite fall thing, travel great distances, and put a portal on the moon. Ah! Probably not a great idea. You'd have to be careful, though. If you had your arm in the portal and the portal closed, it would cut off your arm. Not a great idea. That Two reminds me. Cloning. Yep. Basically, it scares me, and I don't like it. Yeah, cloning's weird. I'm pretty sure you can actually even clone your animals now. A little ridiculous. I've heard stories where people cloned their pet, but the pet Thank just you. wasn't the same. No, of course not. It all not. makes me uncomfortable. It's I just so... would not want to see a clone of myself on the no. street. That's all I'm saying. Dude, what? I'm, I'm standing right here. I mean, have you heard of those identical twins? Yes. <laughs> Freaks. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have a twin. All right, I mean, it. what if he beats me up? Literally. But if this technology is coming whether I like it or not, I might as well embrace it. Okay. You sure this is safe? I don't know. <laughs> Worth a try. Huh? It didn't work. Let me try again. There's gonna be like 15 of them. Literally. <laughs> oh no, I hit the button too many times and overloaded the system. They're kind of cute. Well, regardless, they are failed clones, so we'll have to incinerate them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <it's like> <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Literally just ate him. <laughs> Gotta make sure they don't get out. They're out. They're out. Literally. 
The lab is now blown up. That was close. I think I lost him. You didn't. So, back to the future. <laughs> back Wait, to the future. That's, not, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Universal translator. It works okay. on animals, too. Don't ask me how it would work. I would love to have a conversation with intelligent animals. I don't know about that. Imagine having a full-on conversation with your pets, though. I feel like it might get a little weird. Excuse me, Mr. Orca. Do you like living in SeaWorld? No, Please I hate it. Please stop capturing my kind and forcing us into a dependent relationship with humans to justify the inhumane conditions we live in. Set us free, please. Literally. Thank you. This thank is a you. nightmare. <laughs> oh, do you want to fish? Yes. Sorry, that got a little dark. Let's lighten the mood by trying the translator on my dog, Bo. No, bad idea. Error, no thoughts detected. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Next idea, the insta-sleep pillow. Okay. This would help people who have trouble falling asleep, but it would also make for a very fun and higher stakes pillow fight. <laughs> and what about perpetual motion? I actually designed a working prototype that could provide free energy for all of us. Okay. Here's how it works. The clones are back. Smashed. I think the best part is the clones are actually eating people. Literally the best part. Stop right there! They don't care. Get on the ground now! <laughs> now one more spin. They don't care. I will shoot! Ate the cars too. <laughs> Literally impossible. Imagine getting chased by your own clone. <sighs> <sighs> Meh, it's probably fine. Although these futuristic devices are super awesome and I can't wait to have them, yep. there are some inevitable inventions that will be invented in the next few years like that I fear deeply. Robots? Let's get the obvious one out of the way. Robot uprising. Thank Pretty you. Pretty common fear, but I take it to another level. My parents' house has a Google Home that can turn the lights on and off. Okay. When I was That's living cool. there, before I went to bed, I would say please and thank you to the Google Home when yep. turning off the lights. Smart. Just Wanna make a friend? Just in case. Just in case. And I'm sure glad I did, because look how well off I am now. It's literally a human hamster cage. Human hamster cage. <sighs> <laughs> literally Artificial accurate. intelligence is pretty scary, but it's also useful. And that's why this script was written entirely by ChatGPT. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. The animation was made by AI, though. Does it look okay. good? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. Or what about genetic modification? Like there what? are possible good uses. It could be used to accelerate healing if someone's yep. hurt. You could change your appearance, like your eye or hair color. But I also think it could go too far. People could become uncannily attractive, <laughs> be stronger and healthier, and live longer. You could basically become a superhero. That would, would be pretty cool. Would you like us to remove the no flying gene that was invented by Sir Isaac Newton, Mr. Bryson? No, I'm keeping that. <laughs> yes. Literally yeah. keeping that. It's a bird. Shoot it down. It's a balloon. Shoot it down. It's a blonde guy. Shoot it down. Wait, what was that last one? <laughs> what scares Dead. me is that unfortunately genetic modification will probably lead to a whole new class divide. Yes. Get back to the test chamber, you lab rat. I am objectively better than you in <laughs> every way. You must be removed from the gene pool. Wait, what? Dead. <laughs> Also, what about this? A 3D printer that prints a 3D printer, which in turn produces a 3D printer, and then the world is taken over by 3D printers. I would have to say 3D printers might not be something that you would uh, would take over the world, but I mean, it's Last possible, but not I guess. least, living forever. What does that imply? You just get progressively older and older, but technology keeps you alive? No. Would you become a cyborg? Would you need to replace your face every- I feel like being a cyborg wouldn't be too bad. Half human, half cyborg. years with a new one? Would you eventually be entirely robot? That just doesn't sound fun. Yeah, I don't seems want my quite body to become the ship of Theseus. However, eternal youth does That's sound fun. That's what I'm fun. talking about. And I would like to live pretty long, but even with eternal youth, I think eventually I would like to pass away. And, and, and not, not right now, <laughs> not <though>. now. <laughs> Later. Later, death. <laughs> that sounds pretty dark, Bryson. A little bit. Hey, I didn't ask to be made. Then die. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is so sad. I will be missed. And I was very cool. Wait, what? what?
In conclusion, technology is amazing, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Hopefully towards the helpful and fun side. Unfortunately- I don't know if I'll ever have a robot, though. I just feel like it's so weird. Unfortunately, so I can't weird. build any of these inventions, because I'm not exactly- Smart. Smart. <laughs> but I can draw the inventions, and I can dream. You're trapped, buddy. No! No! <laughs> yeah, he's the leader. Thank you. Wait, what? We knew this. Oh. You're the leader. Um, I command you to make a hole in that wall. There you go. Infinite money glitch. Hmm. <laughs> so that was very interesting. Thoughts of the future actually do make a ton of sense. Cloning is already a thing. Butler robots are already a thing. And I think the things that we see in the next couple years are going to be insane. Maybe not flying cars in our lifetime, but it's definitely a possibility. But hopefully you guys did go enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to smack a like and it's ever greatly appreciated. Go check out Haminations down in the description below. And with all of that being said, guys, my name is Chris. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one.